Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my braces and it's going to be an update video. So if you want to see how it's been without braces for the past couple months, then keep on watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, please. And I will see you guys in my next video. So if you haven't seen my original braces video, I'll leave a link to that down below in the description and I'll probably leave it up here. Basically, I had my braces for about one and a half years, maybe one a year and seven months or so. And the reason why I got my braces was because I hated my smile. I had a really huge gap and I just wasn't confident at all. Like, I really hated it. My mom has a gap too and she's had it all her life. But now she finally decided to get braces. So. so I got my braces taken off on October 21st of 2017. I got them put on in April of 2015, whatever. So yeah, I got my braces put on in April of 2015. And if you have braces, then you know that the pain is pretty bad, like, the following day it hurts like crazy the reason why I'm saying that is because I got my braces taken off on October 21st then exactly a week later I got my retainers obviously at the doctor's appointment they molded me and fitted me for the retainers and I guess it took a week to make so I got them a week later and let me tell you the retainer literally hurt worse than when I got my braces put on like it was really bad and I think it was because maybe you know a week went by and I had nothing on my mouth I had no wires pulling and I had nothing so I think my teeth might have been shifting back already so when I put the retainer in my mouth it literally hurt like to even put it in and you know when you get braces the pain doesn't come into effect until like the day after so that was okay but with the retainer it hurt right away and I was just like I cannot do this like it was seriously worse than the actual braces like the retainer is the worst part so I got my retainer I had to wear it for 24 hours a day for two weeks and after the two weeks you only have to wear it at night for at least eight hours and that's for two years so yeah it's a long long journey but with the retainer you have to take them off to eat you can only drink water with them so obviously you have to take them out if you want to drink or eat anything other than water you can't bite down on them because they'll break I have the clear retainer they look like this this is my bottom retainer and it's clean, don't worry. I just took it out of the cleaning solution. This is the top and the bottoms. Tops are bigger. So yeah. And they give you this case to put them in. But yeah, you can't eat with them. You can't drink with them. You have to take them out. And you have to put them back in immediately after you take them out for the first two weeks. So yeah. Usually for the first two weeks, you, clean, you put them in a solution it's like a denture solution you put them in that to clean them this is the solution I use it's the equate denture cleanser when you clean them you clean them. obviously it's best to clean them in the morning once you've slept because you don't want to walk around with stinky breath because of your retainer so you put them in the solution while you're like in the shower getting ready for the day and then you have to put them back in so that your teeth obviously don't shift for those two weeks and yeah that's it the two weeks are I'm not even gonna lie they're they're long <laughs> they're long but it's worth it if you want to keep your teeth looking good my teeth obviously haven't shifted I still love them because I actually follow my orthodontist rules I literally wear my retainer every single night and for the whole what two and a half months that I've been wearing them I literally missed one night and 
I was too tired to get up, so I didn't put them in my mouth. But I literally only miss one night, and I don't recommend that because you can revert your teeth. They will shift extremely easily. And literally, the night that I didn't wear them, the next night, it hurt so bad to put my retainer in my mouth because my teeth were literally shifting already. So, follow your, your orthodontist rules. Definitely don't play about your teeth. If you really hated them that bad and you went through orthodontic treatment, then do what you gotta do so you can have a pretty smile or whatever whatever you, you're trying to achieve. Just listen because your teeth will end up... I've seen people with orthodontic treatment and look at their teeth now. I'm not trying to end up with that big old gap again. So, in my previous video, I didn't enter before and after pictures. I don't know what I was thinking. But, since you stayed to the end, I'm going to show my before and afters. Yeah. Before, I'm kind of embarrassed to even show my before pictures, like... I'm just like, girl, that was you. And me and my sister literally always rag on my mom. And we're literally like, you let us walk around looking like this. Like, what kind of parent are you? Because my sister has braces now too, even though her teeth aren't that bad. But we literally are always like, mom, you literally let us walk around looking crazy. So, without further ado, these are my before and after pictures. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want another braces update in a couple months, I will definitely film that. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys in my next video, okay? Bye. Hey y'all, so this is my graduation day in 2014. This is the day I got my braces put on. These are the pictures they took at the orthodontist office. This is the first day I got them put on, a couple hours after those pictures were taken. I would say this is about the second or first day. This is nearing the end of my treatment. If you can see, the gap is closed, as well as this picture. And this is the first day I got my braces taken off. As you can see, my gums are still swollen. This is a recent picture of my teeth. 